Hello, everybody. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video today. I am so excited to share uh, kind of a fun technique, a fun idea with you. Are you ready? We're going to do a little kissing today. I have got a fun technique to teach you how to use your Nothing's Better Than stamp set. And even though it's got a chocolate chip cookie in it, we're going to convert it to an Oreo cookie with a fun little kissing technique. This is a super fun little box to make and give. Um, a dozen Oreos inside. You can't go wrong there. This is going to be a fun little project. I am excited to teach it to you, so let's get started. All right, are you ready to create our little box? I think you're going to like this. So as I said, we're going to be using the Nothing's Better Than stamp set. And you notice the cookie. You know what? There's no denying that is a chocolate chip cookie, right? Well, I'm going to show you with the kissing technique how we're going to turn that into an Oreo. Are you ready? So what we're going to be using to create the Oreo is the Today's Tiles stamp set. So you see this image right here? That kind of looks like the inside or the outside of an Oreo. Yeah, see that great texture on our Oreo? We're going to recreate it right there with that. I'm going to save this and eat this later. Uh, but let's go ahead. We're going to pull out this stamp set. And you know what, guys? I'm not even going to take it off and mount it. It is fine just like that. Now, a couple tips I need to tell you with this technique. You're probably going to want to practice just a little bit. And you can do that on some scratch paper, your grid paper. But you're going to kind of kind of want to get the hang of it first. So I'm going to use an early espresso ink pad. And uh, for this technique, we're actually going to combine two techniques, the kissing technique and what they call the rock and roll technique. So there is my cookie. Like I said, it's obviously a chocolate chip cookie. So what I want to do is not ink up the inside of that stamp. The rock and roll technique, and I'm going to show it to you sideways, but you're just going to kind of rock and roll that stamp around your ink pad so that we only get the outside edges. So and I'm going to tell you, the edges of my block are going to get kind of messy when I do this, but that's okay. Now, I want to make sure I get this little, uh, the little bite out of the cookie, so I'm just going to ink that up. Now, there's my mess. I told you there would be a mess. You can clean it. You can leave it alone. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you I'm cleaning it because I tend to get a little messy. Now, so there's all the edges of my stamp. We're now going to stamp this here on our cardstock. Now, do you notice I hit a little bit of the, uh, the chocolate chips? Guess what? That's not going to matter. Yay. So we don't have to worry about that too much. We just didn't want all those chocolate chips on there. All right. So now it's time for the inside, the uh, solid image of my cookie. So I'm going to ink that up in my early espresso. And we're going to take that little image right there. You're going to line up your stamp. I'm going to press it and watch this. I'm going to give it just a little twist. Just a little. Ready? Not a lot. Just a little. I'm going to zoom in. Can you see the image that that left behind? Looks like an Oreo. All right, now we're going to stamp that right here inside our image. And look at that. Let's bring in that Oreo again. Yep, I think I pretty much nailed it. Now, I want to show you one more thing. If you try to do second generation with this, it works, but it's a little on the light side. Yes, I can still come in. I can rock and roll again, and I could go over that, but I just don't think that looks as much like an Oreo as this one. So as I said, we're going to take that, ink it up. Oh, and I need to give you this tip. You do need to clean this stamp after you've done the kissing technique. Otherwise, you're just going to kind of add ink upon ink, and you're not going to have the look that you want. So make sure you take a moment to clean that. So again, I'm going to take it, press, give it a twist and stamp. And I should have done the outline first. I just think it's a little bit easier when I do, but that's fine. Let's go ahead. It's poly photopolymer, so it's easy to see through. There is my cookie. All right, now you're going to do that three times. All right, now I'm ready to come in with my die, and I'm going to die cut my three best cookies. I thought I got a little off on that one, so I did it again. Let's go die cut those. 
All right, there are my three cookies. Those are ready to go. We're going to bring in the Love You More Than die from that um, same Nothing's Better Than bundle. I've got a piece of early espresso cardstock. This is three and a quarter by five inches. Let's place our large sentiment there. And then I'm going to bring in another die set that's one of my favorites right now, the Playful Alphabet. Now, just think of the possibilities. It just, there's just so many. So I'm going to say the word Oreo, but do you notice I have two O's? Yeah, I have a lot of duplicate letters, two A's, two E's. So yeah, we have everything that we need um, and we can run this through all at once. So there are my letters for Oreo and my love you more than. Let's go run this through our die cutting machine and it's going to be time to put this little box together. Now, we're going to use this. We're not going to throw that away. I'm actually going to use it as a layering piece. So I'm going to add a piece of Whisper White on top. This is three inches by four and three quarters. Now I'm ready to kind of build my sentiment. So I'm going to add my words, love you more than. And as you can see, our cookies are going to go off to the side there. And so we can, we want to, I'm just laying everything out first. And I'm going to hide some of these bites so that the only bite that's showing is that one right there, okay? So we'll say, love you more than, and now we have our word Oreos, and we can just adhere our little, cute little adorable letters here. It's going to look fabulous. Okay, let's adhere these down, and I'm gonna share my little trick for adhering kind of detailed die cuts. I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. Trust me, I'm going to need it. I have got a Stampin' sponge, and this one is specifically used for glue, all right? So it's just a sixth uh, of a sponge, and I just keep using it over and over, okay? I use the same one for quite a long time. I'm gonna put some multi-purpose glue up here in the corner, and we're gonna start with the love, okay? So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna put it right here and let's start to get this glue. I'm gonna tap some of that off to kind of spread it around. So there's my word love. This is just a great way to get that glue on a detailed die cut. All right, so let's add love you. And I'm gonna move it to another spot on my silicone craft sheet. And I do that because I don't wanna get the die cut in glue. We just want it on the back. So love you more. I'll go ahead and add my more and my then. Now we'll adhere our little letters Oreos. I like to get my letters all straightened up and then start with the letter in the middle. That kind of ensures that I'm keeping things nice and straight. So let me go and just add all of my letters here. It's just going to be adorable, guys. I promise all this little extra gluing is going to be so worth it, especially when you hand this sweet little Oreo box to a friend. All right, and you know what? I've got this glue out, so I'm just going to use it. So let's add our cookies. And like I said, this is here. You know what? We're just going to use this glue. And remember, we're hiding the bites. So let's bring those bites to the inside, just like that. Now this last one, we're gonna adhere with a stamp and a mentional because that's just gonna look super sweet. And we're gonna let that bite kind of show off. All right, we're gonna adhere this onto that early espresso cardstock. And since I was using my multi-purpose glue, we're just gonna use it again. All right, we're done gluing. I wanna put that right back into an airtight container and that's gonna keep that nice and fresh so I can keep using it. Now, I do wanna tell you real quick, the silicone mat, I can rinse that under cold water. That glue is just gonna flake right off. I mean, it's awesome. I could even do it right now. You can see it just, it doesn't stick to the silicone mat. This is why I love my silicone mat. Okay, now let's come in and create the box. This is one of Stampin' Up's mini paper pumpkin boxes. And it is important that we put, there's a shiny side, see that shiny side? And then a little bit more dull side. 
We want the shiny side to the inside. I'm almost embarrassed to tell you why. So I made this and I thought, oh, I want that shiny side out because it's so pretty. Well, guess what I discovered? Oreo cookies have oil in them and it leaked through and my box was ugly. So uh, this shiny side is the one that's gonna protect the box from looking like that. So there is a reason we want the, uh, the shiny side to the inside because the oil's not gonna go through it. So I am gonna just, you can see, I'm just simply taking and giving all of the fold lines a crease so that we can put this box together. Hey, guess what? No adhesive necessary on this box. So we've got these four tabs and these four tabs are actually gonna go here to the inside. Can you see it goes in? And then this tab is gonna come down and there's just some nice little um, holes that it just flops right into. It's perfect. Let's get this side here. And there we go, our box is ready. Let's add some cookies. You know what happens when you eat one? You come up one short. <laughs> it's true, you guys, but that's okay. I have a full set here in this box, but you're gonna add a dozen cookies. Don't go short changing your friend and giving them 11 cookies. That's just not nice. All right, these little tabs go inside the box and that's what's gonna keep that together. Now, this is gonna go on top, but you notice I tied this one up with some ribbon. This is the early espresso. It's kind of a suede ribbon. It's gonna take about a yard of the ribbon but you're just gonna take this and you're gonna tie it here onto the side of your box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in my original and just show you. I then took my uh, focal image and I added it with Stampin' Dimensionals. And you know what? Oh my gosh, I just noticed there should be some little stars right there that I forgot to stamp. We're gonna go in, let's do that real quick because they're too adorable not to add. And that little star is here from the Nothing's Better Than stamp set. So let's add this so we can keep that little retro feeling going strong. I mean, Oreos, they are the retro cookie, don't you think? All right, we'll add a few more of these. And now I can add dimensionals onto the back, add it to the front of my box. And when I give this away, the recipient can just untie open and look this one actually has a dozen cookies so i'm not going to short change someone on their oreos guys a really fun little project i hope that you'll give this one a try it's going to make someone's day i promise you it's really fun isn't it i mean how can you go wrong with a box of oreos and i hope you enjoyed that little kissing technique i was really excited when i did it for the first time and went oh, it worked an idea i had worked i was just stoked so i hope that you guys will give the kissing technique a try and that you'll give this sweet little box a try too because it was a lot of fun to create and it's going to be even more fun to give it away now if you want to order any of the supplies that you need to create the oreo box Here's what you can do. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com or look down in the YouTube description. There's a link that'll take you directly to the blog post. I'm going to have photos of the box, all the supplies that you need, all the information that you need will be right there. And if you need to order anything, you just click a pick. It's super easy. It's going to take you right to my online store and then you can order what you need and get busy crafting and kissing. So I hope that you'll give that one a try, my friends. Thank you again so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.